today I'm going to share a story about birthday that everybody loves to celebrate and then you don't miss a birthday party especially for your kids no 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 <laughs> so I was born and raised in Eritrea so in Eritrea when you're born uh, a boy after uh, 40 days, girl, after 80 days, more than uh, two a month, you go to church and you baptize if you are an Orthodox uh, Christian. And uh, in the first in the, uh, the first uh, one year, uh, you also celebrate the one a year birthday, a uh, uh, big uh, celebration. But after that, uh, nobody celebrates a birthday and nobody cares really about birthdays. So nobody gets mad at everybody, you don't get mad at your mama. And it was, uh, you know, normal for us. So I was there uh, living until 18 years old. And in 2011, I left Eritrea, um, made my way to Israel. Uh, I started living in Israel. And when I came in Israel, people need to put me in a system, you know, and uh, one of the officer asked me, what is my date of birthday? And I don't know my date of birthday. And I say, uh, I just needed to think about it. And he said, okay. And I came with the idea and I give him a date of birthday. And that was very, very weird for me. And uh, okay, we're done. I go to live my life and after that, it came for, uh, to me that I, I needed to know my date of birthday because I find it's really important. I see everybody celebrating birthday. I see it's, it's really important. And also that to not know the, the, the birthday becomes a big deal when I left the Eritrea and I had to look for it. And I asked my family, I asked uh, everybody that I think uh, who can know about it. and. No, really, nobody really find the time to look it for me. And uh, uh, Corona comes that give us so many time to uh, find stuff and figure out, uh, you know, stuff that we didn't do before. Uh, so in that time, my I asked my sister, especially that she can go to the city that I was born in and please look for me. You know, I just needed to know it's really important. And I want to celebrate my birthday as everybody is. And uh, she tells me, okay. And she looked for me, she looked for me. It took a while. Uh, and uh, she finally find it. We got to pay some money and she go to the city that I was born in. They look for it at least for 10 days and she uh, find that date of birthday and she uh, told, tells me when is the date of birthday and I was so excited <laughs> and that was the year, the first year that I'm going to celebrate my birthday. That was tomorrow. That's why I chose to tell you today because I want you to wish me guys a birthday. And yeah, that was so excited. So she told me that I was born in December 11th. Yeah, and yeah, that's that. So when I see every time people celebrate, people love me and celebrate a birthday for me. So, you know, until I, I don't have the right a date, it was, it feels awkward all the time when people celebrate for me. So I was so excited to find out about that and also to share it with you. And also if mommy or daddy don't celebrate birthday, don't feel bad because there is so many kids that just have to celebrate and that uh, could be not a big deal sometimes. So don't forget to wish a birthday is tomorrow and thank you for listening to me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leah. And I'm sorry, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask everybody, I'm going to go off script here. I'm going to ask everybody please to unmute. This is going to be very, very messy, but we are going to sing happy birthday to yes. Leah. Yes, yes, everybody yes. Everybody unmute. Yes. yes. Okay, we're all going to be off kilter. Nobody's going to be lagged. We're just not going to worry about it. We're all going to sing. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leo. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God.
Obrigado. Obrigado. <risos>